Okay. Hi everyone. So in this session, we are now going to create the database database schema by using the entity framework code first approach. So what is the entity framework? So we'll get some understanding on that first. So entity framework is uh, one of the ORM framework, which will help you to communicate with database in a form of object oriented concept. Okay. So that is very helpful uh, to write any kind of database query to fetch the data from the database to uh, insert new record into the database. So any kind of database activity, if you want to do, you can do that by using the entity framework and that will be uh you don't have to even write the sql queries okay it is ORM framework ORM means object relationship mapping and that way uh, you can play with your database in a form of object oriented concept okay you know that object object oriented you can have a classes we can have object uh, we can have constructor destructor then uh, static classes partial classes all these things you can use while working with the database as well so you don't have to learn the explicit database technology in order to work with that Okay, so this framework itself will take care of everything. So let's say you want to create a new record. So there is an inbuilt functions like you can use add method for delete. There is a remove method. So if you call the add method, it will automatically create one SQL query for you. And then uh, that SQL query, it will fire to your database and you don't have to have understanding about how to create the SQL queries. Okay, so for creating the database, by using the entity framework, first step, first step would be you will have to create some interfaces. Okay. So there is one uh, talent to track dot common project we have created. So in this project, we can have one folder, right click add folder. Okay. So folder name is let's say entities. Okay. So entities is nothing but your table structures. How many tables you want? So I want a new table for okay i want a new table for login detail user table okay let's create the user table first okay so what i will do i will click right click on this add new class and here we can mention user okay so as i mentioned we will have a table in a form of object oriented format so that's why we can each and every table will be our one class okay so this is your user table. Now in this user table, let's say public, public user. I can create some columns as well. So I wanted to create ID column. So what I will do, I will add some properties into your ID. Okay. I wanted to create next column that is first name, last name, email address. So first name should be in a string format, right? So we'll add string first name. I want last name as well. <laughs> so last name is also in string format. Last name. Okay. Email. Email is also nothing but string format. Okay. Next thing is contact number. Okay. Then role. Okay, role can be uh, the enum. What is enum? While you're learning the C sharp, there should be one topic, one subject that is enum. Okay, so enum we can create uh, in C sharp like, let me create one more folder here. Or let's say directly uh, one class like enumerations. Okay, enum means enumeration. So by using the enum, I think I have already covered the topic in C sharp. Like by using the enum, you can provide the meaningful names to the numbers. Okay. So here we can have some enums like public enum uh, role. Okay. So role is one of the enum where you will have some uh, numbers. Numbers is like one is equal to student. So I have these many roles like admin is equal to one sub admin is equal to two then i will have trainer is equal to three then student is equal to four so every every role i wanted to keep as a number because in the database i will store the role 
in a form of integer 1 2 3 4 but in a while working with the c sharp program i should have some meaningful name to these numbers so that's why i have created one enum okay so this enum we can use here while creating the database columns like i wanted to create a new column called role okay like this now role is one of the enum so enumerations dot role okay this is your fully called fully qualified name so enumerations class name dot role like this okay now you can see this warning this warning is for this green line is nothing but the warning why this warning is here because uh, this string should be nullable so if you add the question mark to your properties so it will remove the warning okay nullable means if i don't provide any name then it should be null in the database so that's why this question mark okay if you don't mention the question mark it means this string should not be null you should have some value to this string always so this is non nullable i wanted to keep it nullable so that's why question mark and then here i have added the role okay now next thing is uh, next column is this created date time so created date time we can uh, add here date time next one is updated date time so date time is the data type for that column okay date time this is your updated date time next one is created by id created by id is a foreign key of the same table okay you know uh, self join right so created by id obviously another like admin user might create the sub admin user admin user will create the trainer admin user will create the students so this id is for that who has created this trainer account so this is for that okay next one is updated by id so updated by id means here who has modified the information about the current record so this is for that updated by id created by id updated by id created date time updated date time this is role and this is basic information about your current user so these many columns we require for the user table now how we can create the actual sql table by using this uh, this class okay let me check what is happening so there is one user class this class is not required okay this user class we require which is available inside this okay great now we have created this user class now i wanted to create the database okay from the c sharp class so for that you will need to work on <coughs> inside the entities you can create one more class right click add new class okay here you can mention db context okay db context now this db context is created let me add some name to it like talento track underscore db context okay so this db context is a replica of your database whole database okay so the requirements are this db context should be create should be inherited from db context class okay so this db context is available inside the entity framework package you will have to install that entity framework package in your project okay so how we can use that uh, install that entity framework package like this uh, this is common this is db context so let's not create this db context into this common let's create that inside the DAO okay DAO means data access layer so inside the data access layer right click add new folder db context inside that add your file talento track db context okay 
now you will have to change the namespace as well namespace is means it is a fully qualified name for your class where it is located it is located inside talento track dot dao dot db context like this okay talento track dot dao dot db context here we are having our context file okay inside this you can add one entity framework package so how we can install the entity framework right click on the project go to the manage nuget packages and here you can find entity framework core like this okay select this one click on the install Okay, once you install that entity framework core, you will have an access of this one of colon db context. Okay, so this is now available in the entity framework core package. Now there is a conflict between your folder name as well as uh, your db context file so let's change the folder name to db only okay and same way you will have to change the namespace as well, db okay inside the database you are now having this db context which is available inside the entity framework core package so you, if you want to remove this error you will have to add one using here okay which using entity framework core how you can do that just add the cursor here go here click on the entity framework core you can see uh, this package has been added and now this error is not available okay resolve in this db context file you will have to add one db set what is db set db set means adding a new table into your database so how we can do that db set here db context file name sorry table name table name is user user is available under common right here as it is related to the database i think let's move these entities as well into your dao layer okay this is your dao layer so move that entities folder as well because i wanted to keep your database and table structure at the same layer same level okay so here we need to change the namespace again talent to track then DAO then entities right and these enumerations are available under common that is fine okay so this common project reference we need to add under the DAO project so that I can access this enumeration class okay because this enumeration class is available under common project so how i can add the reference into the DAO, dao class i will have to right click on the dao add reference project reference and then select your common project click on the okay okay once you click on the okay then you can see this enumeration is now available if i use using talent to track common namespace it is now available inside the dao project okay click on the save go to your db context file here add the reference of your entities folder this one as soon as you add the reference you can add tbl user so we are now having one database called as db context and then we are now having one table called as user now in this database we have created one user table we can say that okay now how to generate the database by using this db context file and this user class how we can generate the actual database okay so for that you will have to create the migrations database migration then you will have to fire one command that is update database 
as soon as you fire that command it will automatically generate one create one database called as talent to track db context inside that it will automatically create one user table inside that it will automatically create these many columns you don't have to explicitly go to the database server and create the database and tables and columns and everything it will automatically generate that by using your c sharp code that is why we are calling it as a code first approach what is code first approach it will take care of database from the code we don't have to explicitly work on your database okay i am pausing here i will see how to generate a database in the next session